So, all right, boys and girls, welcome. Rob Ferretti here. And you'll remember one of my concerns when I had my truck is if you've ever traveled the world, the word espresso means different things in different places. I don't drink coffee. I drink espresso. I like, in my world, like even a little ceramic Italian espresso at the Auto Strada is all I need to be happy. However, you go out west and you ask for an espresso, they're like two, three, or four shots. I'm like, just, just like one shot. And they still give you half a cup. Like they give you like 12 ounces of coffee to make an espresso. That doesn't work for me. And the way I travel and the way I film, I like to have a reasonably predictable espresso around. And I wanted to make my ramp trucks be able to produce espresso. So when I'm out filming with my vehicles and my truck, I can walk up to my truck and produce the espresso. Even the uh, GMC Denali that I just sold, I was hoping I'd be able to crank some espresso out of. They've got the power plugs right in it. Didn't work. Uh-oh, that's not good. I think this means it doesn't have sufficient power. Womp womp, let me try the back plug. I mean, really, for $80,000, if you can't make the truck power the smallest of Nespresso machines, what are you really paying for? Now. But now I have a solution and it only cost $4,000, maybe a little bit less with a discount. But here, this is like a nuclear battery pack. And you can excuse my, my back, I was, don't, don't even, I'm old now. I was doing, I was doing a, a workout on my tempo and my trainer, Melissa, was like, all right, like, I'm going off of the recommended weights and I'm supposed to be uh, deadlifting. It was like 110 pounds or something like that. I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't feel like adding all these extra weights. The bar's got 85 pounds on it. I'll just use that. And then in the first like eight minutes of the workout, there was 180 deadlifts. So you're doing 20 deadlifts at a time and it's first is a B stand. So you're doing like a one-legged deadlift then you're doing the other leg and then you're doing this and you do that three times in a row and after 180 deadlifts, my back is dead. So that's why my oldness is kicking in here. But here you've got this. I think this is gonna be my solution to my problem here. And this thing will, this will charge a Tesla first off. So I'm thinking and I'm gonna try it out right now. I've not tried this, you go, know, cause it's YouTube and I'm Rob Ferretti so I don't even try like, yeah, let me make sure this works before we do this. If I look like an idiot, I look like an idiot, but I'm gonna see if this thing makes an espresso, which it should, given the prodigious size and nature and power capabilities of this battery pack. I'm gonna see if I can cook up an espresso with it. And that solves my problem because I can get this on one of my trucks. I can bolt this down to one of my trucks. I'll be a very happy guy. This is a power station that allows you to do whatever you want. And if it makes me an espresso, it'll be worth every penny. Now, I am not saying that Nespresso makes the best coffee on the planet, but they do make a consistent espresso. And consistency is better than the unknown when you're traveling. And I'll usually just not have anything. Here we go. Let's see if this works. I'll be a happy guy. And the fact that this thing can charge a Tesla too makes me think that it should. I'm watching the output. It's pulling a thousand watts. Like this thing, I mean, it'll run for, as it's drawing an espresso, which that is a complete espresso right there. It went from running for 99 hours down to like three to six hours of runtime, but that's only while cranking out the espresso. So, and now I don't know what it's doing now, but it's going back through its cycle. It's still got 86% battery. So this thing will spit out a whole bunch of espressos. It would even almost work if you think you have a, um, like a food truck or something. Instead of having a food truck operating off of those loud gas generators, this thing would be awesome. So this is gonna solve my problem. Anytime I travel on location, this is gonna be in my truck. I'm building a new ramp truck. I will build an actual compartment or door to build this into. So we can put my little espresso stand in the side of it and we're gonna be good to go. This solves every problem that my $80,000 Denali couldn't and I'm a happy guy. Uh, they did send this to me for free, so all disclosures are there. If you wanna buy one or check it out, I'm gonna put a link right below in the description to check them out, but you can check them out and if you need something like this in your life, 
if you need an espresso on a job site, in a truck, wherever you are, this is probably going to be a good thing to have. It's also good to have as a backup generator at a house. There's a bunch of reasons you need a lot of power like this. And then when it's empty, it recharges very easily. It's got USB-Cs, USBs. It's got the DC power. It's got the AC power. It's even got the big dogs. So if you need a 30 amp uh, max outlet, it's got it covered. Rob Ferretti, drinking an espresso, obviously in my warehouse, but you can imagine if I was on a green screen, I could be anywhere in the world right now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.